I wanted to make something for my front porch. So I took this scrap piece of wood and I just, I kind of, I drew, I'm not going to lie. I drew kind of lines for a bunny first. And then I took white chalk paint and I just filled it in from the lines I drew. So he's kind of half on, half off the board. So he's kind of sideways, although his face doesn't look like it in the end. <laughs> but I just used white chalk paint and filled in this little bunny. I did go back with a smaller brush and, and kind of do the edges so that it was better looking. Do you guys like to paint? Do you feel good when you paint? <laughs> I feel better. I don't know. It just, the creative part of painting is, is great for me. So I do a lot of paint by numbers just because I'm not a great artist but I love to paint. It's just relaxing. So just draw a bunny on a board and just paint it in. I don't do any shadows or anything. It's not fancy. Just drew a bunny, added a little pink nose. I just used acrylic paint for the nose and the eyes. Just added some eyes. They're the same eyes I do on all my bunnies. <laughs> so they're just black. And then I do put a little line underneath and then add some eyelashes. I just did an easy mouth, and then I think I do the eyelashes next. So I just put a little, a little curved line underneath the eyes and add some eyelashes. I added some whiskers, and then I had to go back because one side was darker than the other, so then I had to go back and do the other side darker. <laughs> so added some whiskers, and, and then just have some fun, you guys. You have fun. Have fun. Added some pink to the ears. You always have to add pink to the ears. Again, I'm just using acrylic for the, the pink and the black. I added some white dots to the eyes. Once it was dry, I did sand it to make it look kind of old and weathered. I am going to put this on the front porch. So I did not seal it, but I have a covered porch wiped off the sanding, and then I made it a bunny tail using our tassel tool. I did put a link to the tassel tool in the description if you're interested. And I just used three millimeter macrame cord because I am, I do macrame. So I have a lot of that cord, so I used it. So then I separated each one of the cords. This is probably the longest part of this project is separating all those cords. I wrapped it 20 times. So I made his tail kind of thick. Once you get them all separated, just trim it down. And then I just glued it to the side with some hot glue. I used Gorilla Glue and just put it right there on the side. And then, of course, you have to embellish him so, or her because she has a pink bow. So I like the wire, wire rimmed ribbon so that you can fold it. Uh, kind of form it and then I added a flower do you guys like the flower I kind of added the flower just by itself it doesn't have anything on it no leaves no nothing I just added the flower to the side but I think it kind of came out cute and then I decided she needed some cheeks so I added my blush I actually use blush to, to do the cheeks it was a lot of fun to do this project and I think that that's the most important part of crafting <laughs> is just to have fun. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Hit that sprinkle button for me. Make sure you're following me if you're not. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.